looking at and I make videos about home decor, home organizing, home cleaning, all things home related and a bit of lifestyle as well. Um, hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining this channel and subscribing to, to my content. Honestly, I'm just so humbled. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, today I'm going to be deep cleaning my kitchen. Like this is this is gonna take a couple of hours. Um, but I'm bringing it into my space. Um, so please be kind in the comments. Um, let's just basically clean, not do any of my cupboards or cabinets. I'm just going to do all like the surface areas, like the I like my dishwasher, my washing machine and just do a thorough deep clean, deodorize my home and just make it feel fresh and clean and just good. Um, so yeah, let us get into this video, shall we? First task was to empty the dishwasher. Absolutely hate doing this, but it is what it is. And just put everything back in its correct place. oven is a pyro oven which means it's meant to be a self-clean oven honestly I still had to do a bit of work to get it clean but I just want to set it on the pyro uh, function just so it starts doing its thing and then I'll clean it when it was done I had oven bright in the house and honestly I don't think this was something I needed to use but I've had it in the house for a long time I've never really wanted to use it I just thought today I was gonna use it but I think I was better off using the pink stuff to clean my racks because this just made me so nervous that I was gonna burn myself these are all the products I'm using today um, I'm really keeping it simple I'm trying to stay away from really harsh cleaning products and just stick to plant-friendly cleaning products so this is what the kitchen looks like currently. Um, I didn't actually do a pre-video before just because I got into it and I realized oh, it would be best to show what the kitchen looked like before I went into the deep clean. Um, it wasn't disorganized, it just felt like it was very greasy and just smelt of food <laughs> and I just wanted to make it smell fresh and yeah. So I tend to clean my dishwasher every two to three months and every time I actually try to clean it and I see the mess in the filter I just get really embarrassed because how did that happen? So this is the grime. I think this has been two months worth of dirt. So I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm using some dish soap and some Sephora to disinfect it and giving it a good scrub just to get rid of all the dirt and all the bacteria. I think I soaked it for about 20 to 30 minutes just so the Zephora worked fine and it was nice and clean and germ free. I think it looks really clean and good as new so yay to me I think keeping it simple is key so I'm just gonna clean my uh, dishwasher with some method antibacterial um, I'm not quite sure if this is actually the right way to do it so please let me know in the comment section how you clean your dishwasher and I'm also using some e-cover 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 rough <laughs> English is hard uh, just to get rid of the lime scale and this actually worked like a treat like it just got rid of all um, the lime scale because the water in my area is really hard water and I just struggle with lime scale and this this was actually works this actually works better than using white vinegar which is usually my go-to and I felt like it was a lot friendlier to my appliances and it the smell wasn't too bad as well there was some dirt in between the lines so I just used some toothpick to get rid of that I was being very gentle so I didn't tear the plastic and just ruin my dishwasher and I just put everything back when it was nice and dry and I also gave that a quick rinse as well and then I'm using the finished dishwasher cleaner I know people have been very controversial about this product but honestly it's, it works for me I like the lemon freshness I get once I'm done washing my dishwasher and I put that on the highest setting which was about 160 minutes so yeah <music>
thought it was time for me to clean my microwave. I've, I found this method on Instagram and I've been doing it for the last three months and I think it works for me but if you have any other tips please let me know in the comment section how you clean your microwave. But I basically use a whole lemon, I use some vanilla essence and also some vinegar and I add a bit of water to the bowl and put it on full blast for five minutes just so the steam breaks down every, any caked food particles and also deodorizes and neutralizes the odor and smell of my microwave so can you see how steamy it looks that is what <laughs> you use to essentially clean the microwave so I just basically go in with my minky cloth and I turn off the microwave because health and safety is very important I just give it a good clean and I also just go in and just dip the cloth in the concoction of lemon vinegar and vanilla as well just to make sure that every food smell and particle is cleaned and it smells good so I tend to do this I say every three no not three months every month but if I particularly warm something that just smells really bad especially if I maybe warm fish or something then I would give it a clean because I just don't want the fish smell to linger for my washing machine I'm pretty much using the Ecova and the method cleaner for most of my appliances in this video so I'm not gonna keep saying I'm using this product it doesn't bore you but I just basically sprayed it and also took out the detergent tray now this looked quite bad I'm not quite sure if that was mold it just didn't look cute and honestly I'm so embarrassed to actually even put this online but we're being real on this video and so I just basically just gave it a scrub and because I used that brush for my dishwasher earlier I just disinfected it with some Zephora so there was no transference of bacteria to my washing machine tray um, and I just gave that a good scrub um, for a couple of seconds and then I also let it soak because the detergent was a bit dried up I was refusing to go off so I just put some dish soap and some Zephora to disinfect it as well and I soaked it for about 20 to 30 minutes um, just so it was nice and clean. So clean, so shiny. So I also took out my washing machine filter. I didn't show the process because it was really hard to film. And I found a pound. <laughs> that was so random. Oh my goodness. Take out your machine filter when you clean your washing machine. Don't forget it. This was very disgusting and I don't think I've actually cleaned this in a year and a half and it wasn't as clean as I would have liked but I did the best I could and yeah um, I'd let the antibacterial do its work and I was just basically giving it a wipe down and just making sure that the um, the rubber bits was nice and clean and did not have any mold or anything and just smells good I got this washing machine cleaner from b and I'm not quite sure if I would buy it again but that was all I had at home and I just put it on the machine clean setting and just let it run its cycle now time for the oven so this is what it looked like after the pyro was done as you can see the glass was not pyroed at all it was still quite dirty so I used the SIF um, oven spray this is like my go-to because it's just less faff less hassle and just does the work and it was time to wash my racks I don't think this oven bright did anything I think I don't think I needed to have done this it was just too much hassle too much faff I don't think my trays looked shinier than normal so yeah I just gave that a good wash and I also washed all my oven trays with um, the pink stuff and yeah that was me done with all the oven attachments
got all the glass bits um, and gave them a bit of a clean with the pink stuff and I wiped, let them dry and I also used the pink stuff on the glass because there were some stains that the sift spray didn't get out and I don't, think, I don't think I actually got to that to be fair so I just basically put everything back once it was nice and dry and I returned all my racks to the oven to be fair I don't think the oven looks as clean as it could look but I was scared that the rubber seal thing was going to tear further if I gave it any more scrubbing so yeah I was done and I was okay with it. I also wanted to defrost my freezer. I tend to do this every three months or so when I can see that the ice has built up a lot and it becomes harder to sort stuff out. That's all the ice I got and there was still some more ice. So I just basically used the scraper that came with the freezer and just scraped out all the ice. It gave the glass trays a bit of a wash. Disgusting. And also put some Zoflora in some warm water just to disinfect my fridge and also deodorize it as well. And yeah, that took a while to do, but it was, I was very happy when it was done. And my freezer just looks nice and good. I also got this Osmo fridge and microwave cleaner from B&M, which I've had for a long time. I'm just trying to finish it. I just sprayed that just to give my freezer nice clean smell and feel i did clean my fridge but i didn't show this in this video because i'm going to show you in a separate video my fridge organization which i am planning on doing in the next two weeks so if you are interested in that kind of content and you haven't subscribed to my channel then please consider subscribing to my channel because i'm going to basically organize my kitchen and it's going to be interesting i think and i hope but this is what my freezer looks like now nice clean and shiny I just cleaned all my oils in that little corner. I also cleaned the actual um, shelf and I just basically changed the kitchen towel and made it nice and fresh. And I did the same thing for my fruit and vegetable rack. Changed it, changed the kitchen towels, gave it a nice clean with some Zoflora and some water and put everything back. So while I let my method antibacterial do its work, I removed my filter slash vent on my hob and just soaked it in some dish um, washer tablets, one of that and some Sephora and just let that soak for about 30 minutes to break down the grease and also make it smell, smell fresh. That's another top tip if your kitchen smells like food, make sure that you're deodorizing your um, filter vent thing um, and just make sure that it's nice and clean it doesn't smell of stale food. I also gave my bread bin a nice clean with some method which I sprayed in a kitchen towel and then I did the same thing for my smeg which I am absolutely loving. No regrets. No regrets. I will buy even more smeg products if I have the opportunity to. Um, I just basically clean my smeg with the a method cleaner and some stainless steel spray because just to clean the stainless steel bits and just make it nice and clean and shiny. And yeah, it is having some lime skills. I might need to descale it in a couple of weeks, but I don't need to do that with this video. So that is my condiments turntable tray which I got from BNM. I don't think it actually fits the aesthetics of my kitchen so I'm actually looking for something a bit more creamy and ceramic that just doesn't look as plastic as that is or as that does. 
and if I do find something, I'll share that with you in a different video. scratches and no matter how much I try to clean it and scrape it it just doesn't go away so if anyone has any tips in the comments section on how to make it look good as new please let me know if not then it is what it is I'll just leave it like that I think I got some pots that just had a really rough base and I think that just made it really scratchy um, I'm just cleaning the edges with some toothpick wrapped in some kitchen towel and I tend to do that every other week because food does tend to get stuck in these hidden areas I'm just going in with my Nifster Muscle just to break down any further grease and also make sure that all the sif is cleaned up and there are no white bits left. And I also went in with my Method Cleaner just because I liked the way that smelled and yeah, it made that a good clean as well. I also cleaned the um, stainless steel um, splash back with the stainless steel spray from Sif. I don't think that actually does what it's meant to do or maybe I don't know how to use it properly, I don't know. But that was me done with my hop. some Zoflora and some hot water and just basically made it nice and clean and also um, removed any bacteria and I also used the Fabulosa spray for the surface areas and cleaned it nicely. I didn't show that because the video is getting a bit too long. So my filters and vents were dry so I put them back and it was time to clean I think. We're nearly done with this video guys. This took me six hours to do like yeah it was a long one um so for my sink i'm just using my sif cleaner and i'm also using the ecover lime skill honestly this was my first time actually trying this product and the way it broke down the lime skill it was so fast it was so it just did what it said it was going to do absolutely recommend it absolutely love it i don't think i'm going to use any other product for lime skill other than the ecover product worth 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 it
step in my sink clean was to use some bicarbonate of soda and some zoflora just to freshen my drains and just make it to get rid of any bad smells. This is something I tend to do fairly regularly and I also just put some hot water in just to clean it up and just clean my drain. I'm using the flash floor cleaner, some bleach and some zoflora and some hot water to clean my floors. That is what I always do when I mop my floor if I'm not using the method um, floor cleaner. And I have no video of me mopping the floor. <laughs> but there you have it. This is my kitchen. I think the video appears a bit not as clear as I'd like but I do apologize but this is what my final kitchen looks like it's nice and clean it smells absolutely good and it was well worth it thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video have a lovely rest of your week or weekend bye